Scott, seven goals, three points. A good Sunday afternoon for you? Yeah, not after about 40 minutes. Um, yeah, we played really well. I thought we played well throughout the game. First half, we were excellent at times. Uh, got lots of players involved going forward. Um, got into n numerous uh, positions where we caused them problems. Um, I think we counted something like 16 or 17 chances in the first half. Four of those hit the bar. Um, just, you know, chances falling to all different players, but no one could put the ball in. And uh, I just felt like maybe we reacted a little bit um, poorly at times to situations in the penalty box because we had the ball so often in there in the first half. Um, but, you know, give them real credit because they kept playing in the first half, they kept going at it, they kept creating the, ch the chances, they, they kept asking the question. Um, came in at half time, talked about it, and um, that was the one area that we had to fix. And um, as I say, credit to them because they went out in the second half and, and played well again and created chances and this time scored a few. How much of a relief was it seeing Shea's strike hit the back of the net just a couple of minutes before half time to break the deadlock? Yeah, I mean, it, it was definitely coming. I think uh, anyone that was watching the game would, would have said that. Um, but yeah, it's still a relief when it goes in, it is. And um, then, you know, the, the team talk at halftime is slightly better, slightly, um, you know, easier, but still there was only, only going to be one sort of focus in the second half for us really was to keep playing the way we were, but to, you know, get that, that final touch right. You gave Odie her first start today, a uh, hat-trick for her. That must be pleasing for you to see an instant impact. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, there's still um, a lot of understanding to come from Odie and, and the rest of the players. Um, and that's the same with, with a number of our new players. Uh, it's going to take a, a, a little bit more time. And it was great to see her, um, you know, finally get that goal. I think it, it helped her relax a little bit. And second half, she looked really good, scored a great goal. Um, but yeah, we I think again the 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 new players that have arrived, you know, over the last um, you know six months or or even three months have really done well since they've they've come in and they've um, they've played well. They've shown it in games, but they've also shown it in training. And looking ahead, we we'll go back home for the first time this year uh, to Broadwood next weekend. What do you expect of the test from Motherwell? Uh, it'll be tough. I mean. Every game is, you know, we've had to work really, really hard here today to, to get the result and the players have had to put it in. Uh, we've got three games next week. It's going to be tough and we, we want to start th that run of three games with the three points. We want to keep doing what we, we've, we've done there in the last two games and keep clean sheets. I think they look strong at the back and, um, and yeah, you know, get that, that first three points in the, the first of those three games. But can't look too far ahead. We have to just make sure that we make sure that that game is taken care of. Uh, but we're never overconfident. We're just confident. Okay, cheers. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.